All right, guys, it's Monday morning. Look at this spot. If this doesn't say Kyle, I don't know what it says. There's a lot of deer in Kyle here. Bobcats, which unfortunately we can't shoot, but I'm here to test the new, those new uh, 75 grain hammer bullets I've been testing. Yesterday I shot two coyotes with the hollow points. Today I'm trying the tip ones. I call them black widows because they have black tip on them. Didn't want to get out of bed, but it was a struggle. But had a little coffee and here I am. The air smells crisp. I love it. Let's see what happens here. Check this out. These little balls. There's coyotes everywhere in here. Sun's coming out. Somebody conveniently left the stable in this meadow. That's where I'm gonna put my call off the ground. And I'm gonna sit on the finger ridge right there coming off the hill. It's about 50 yards. And we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Praying to baby Jesus for a coyote this morning. Yes, sir. I believe they are his creatures. And if he doesn't want you to kill them, you won't have any success. This looks like a good place. With all these back weeds behind my back, they won't see me. Just better put on my face mask and get ready. All right, guys. I'm hunting with the, the Geisley. Super Duty Six Arc. We call it peanut butter. We're gonna try female interrogation to start with. Let's wake up the neighbors. That's where all the rich liberals live on top of that hill. Holy shit, you guys. <laughs> Guess what just happened? I was playing MFK Pound Town. Oh my God, let me turn this off. Dude, I just had a couple of coyotes just die bombing from the top there, from that ridge. They came behind me. They sounded like horses. And they came right there below me, right on the edge of this little hill I'm sitting on. Ten feet away. And then they broke left, and they're in this tall grass. This, the thing is as high as my waist. And they're going and going. And I crack a shot with the red dot. I have a red dot here. On the side of the gun and uh i missed him dude and one broke left the other one went straight and i sent a second round and i think i got me a coyote i hope i do it sounded you know if you hunt that whap that wet towel hitting you in the ass sound yes sir i heard it i didn't see it go down because he was almost over the roll of that hill there he was probably 80 90 yards away and I'm gonna go check, but I just might have me a coyote, you guys. <laughs> yeah, having a pretty good morning, yes sir. Let's go look at this thing. All right, I was sitting on that hill, on that finger ridge, and the coyotes came bombing out of the top there, 
and they went literally 10 feet from me and they ran into all this thick shit, stalk weeds. And this is where I had my my collar sitting on this table. Somebody left here. These are my swaggers. I'm gonna go see if I can find him. I hope he's there. It sure sounded like a, a wet towel heat on that meat, that pop. Let's go see if we can find this guy. Sun's already up. I got here like a 5:45. Somewhere here, he was almost over this roll of this hill here on the off side. It's gotta be if he's here. Look at all these coyote tracks, you guys. Look at that. Look at all this. That's how you know you're in good country. Look at that. Coyote, coyote, and babka too. Trucks everywhere, man. Look at that. Somewhere here, he was in this tall grass, and he, I shot him on the other side there, and he, he ran up and I almost lost him when I fired the second round here. Oh, where have we seen this before? Here it is, guys. Look at that. That's a beautiful dog. Look at his hackles. He died mad. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at him. Isn't he pretty? Look at him. That's where the bullet went in. I'm going to turn him over and see. Or did it go in here? Oh, I think it went here. In the ass. Came out the side. Yep. Because he was running away. Right here. And exit here. Pretty big hole. Still leaking a lot. Yeah. So that, I think, the tip bullet performed better actually than the hollow point you guys it's a male too we like shooting males in the spring because females got puppies all right i got something cool here i just got in the mail look at this get my drag my coyote drag. Pew Pew Chronicles. When they meet with me, they always regret chasing the rabbit. Look at this, guys. Double drags. Put that around their teeth, cinch it, and away they go. Here's my custom drag. Put them around their canines and pull on that cable cinches and away they go boys come on i'll make you youtube famous pretty daylight good for video Alright guys, good morning, this is the uh, the recap of my hunt, I just had a very exciting hunt this morning, <clears throat> testing uh, different bullets, yesterday we were hunting with hollow points, today we, uh, well, I tried the tips, the tip bullets, Got a plastic tip on him. Supposedly have a higher BC. Not that it matters much for coyote because most shots are like 200 yards and in. Yesterday, Rafael took a shot at one at 310, but he didn't have his uh, range finder, so he just guessed. He dialed one and a half mils, 
for his 223 and he shot over him and uh then he center punched this another one and he we lost the, the, the um factory barnes 55 grain bullet and uh it's so damn slow it's like 2660 feet per second out of his ar uh, i don't think at that velocity that maybe the bullets don't open up i don't know we we couldn't find it i saw it so it through my scope when he shot and he literally punched him dead center hair flew everywhere and coyote fell and i swung to the other one that was running away and i lost track of the the one on the ground and we we looked everywhere we we couldn't find him but this one i just shot it uh, it's a, a pair big dogs full dogs full grown dogs like this came bombing down that that ridge uh playing some very aggressive fight sounds and they came and uh so uh they scared the hell out of me they sounded like horses galloping down that ridge and uh uh they were in the in the tall weeds there that brown stuff is about waist high i can only see their heads when they're jumping and uh i i took a shot with the with the red dot talking about that let me turn off my red dot Save the batteries. And uh, so I took a shot and I missed. And one broke left up, back up that way. And the other one came running down this way. And I took another, another shot and I punched him in the just above the tail. And it tore up all the, the spine and came out the other side on the belly, behind the belly. And it, it's a huge hole in there leaking a lot so i think those bullets might work a little better i'm pushing them 3300 feet per second so the arc is a it's too much for coyotes man this is really a deer gun a hog gun but you can't kill him too dead better to to, to crash him just, just i don't know man it's better. The overkill is better than losing one. It hurts. We spent a long time looking yesterday, so I'm happy. I don't know if I'm even gonna go do another call. I'm just tired from yesterday. Didn't even wanna get up, but this worked out. I might just go home and wash my truck. It's pretty messy. We got everything muddy, the seats, everything yesterday. We were wet and muddy, but we called in five dogs today i called two so thank you baby jesus thank you for playing mr coyote you won't be killing the deer that live in these hills anymore right pretty pretty dogs 